Today we're counting down the top five hidden historical things in Toronto. Number five. Toronto Central Prison was right here in present day Liberty Village. The prison sat there from 1873 until its closure in 1915. The warden, William Stratton Prince, was famous for his late night burials on the east side of the property, right around here. These unmarked graves of prisoners have never been properly excavated, leading to the fact that those prisoners are still hidden right around here. Number four, a baseball, but not just any baseball, Babe Ruth's first professional home run ball. In 1914, Babe Ruth hit his first professional home run at Maple Leaf Park, AKA Hanlon's Point Stadium. The 19 year old hit it over the right field fence. Now as the story goes, the ball was never found, allowing it still to be off the waters of Hanlon's Point, theoretically. Number three, the Crawford Street Bridge. If you take a walk down Crawford Street within Old Bellwoods Park now, right here, you will simply keep on walking. But this stretch of road is actually a bridge. In 1915, the second incarnation of the Crawford Street Bridge was constructed. The neat thing though, it's still there, hidden below, covered with the excess dirt from the excavation of the Bloor Danforth subway line in the 1960s. Number two, an abandoned subway station. The TTC Open Bay Lower Station, also known as Lower Bay and Yorkville Station in 1966. This station was open from February through September of that year. The station was poorly conceived of though, and threw off the timing of various other trains. The now derelict station though, it's still there, sometimes used for filming. And number one, the famous and no longer famous roller boat. You see, the roller boat was a concept conceived by Frederick A. Knapp, a lawyer from Ontario. He thought that he was gonna revolutionize boat travel. His design of a rolling cylindrical ship was actually taken very seriously at the time. When he first launched the prototype of the boat in Toronto Harbor in 1897, the world was watching. It awkwardly dawdled through our harbor, but financiers, media, and people were impressed. People believed that this was the future of travel, but the project collapsed in a very elongated and unflattering manner. They would sink hundreds of thousands of dollars more into the project before dramatically failing miserably. The boat that was lining the covers of newspapers across North America ended up simply getting stuck in Toronto Harbor. When they excavated the dirt for the Union Station Railway viaduct in 1933, they ended up just covering the former ship with dirt. It's still there, right around here, underneath the gardener. In fact, you've likely driven over it many times. The ship was going to change the world and be Canada's crowning jewel, and instead, we're driving over it. Let me briefly digress. If you're interested in learning more about Toronto history, please make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and tell all your friends.